Welcome back everybody. It's really good to be with you again. Another collective worship with our friend Philip. I've lit the candle and uh, it's really shining brightly. It reminds us that Jesus is the light of the world and his light shines uh, in the darkness and gives us hope and gives us something to make our days just a bit more brighter. Um, today, I'm going to tell you a Bible story, and the Bible story is about Jesus' very first miracle. I wonder if you remember what that is. Jesus' first miracle was when he turned water into wine at a wedding in Cana of Galilee. I wonder if you've been to a wedding. Weddings are great fun. Hopefully later on this year I'll be doing lots and lots and lots of weddings because we had lots of weddings that couldn't take place last year but they're all, they've are all they all been moved and booked in for 2021. So hopefully uh, when things get better I'll start doing lots and lots of weddings. I'll be very busy. Weddings are great fun. And Jesus was there in the party. He was there at the wedding having fun just like everybody else. And he had his friends there, and he had his uh, mother, Mary, there. And the party was really going well. And then Mary, Jesus' mum, came up to Jesus and said, Panic! Jesus said, what, what, what's happened? Panic! They've run out of wine. Now, usually you have wine at a party... And the party was really going well, but it was embarrassing. The host of the party would have been so embarrassed because he'd have invited all his friends, all his family, and you can't run out of food, and you can't run out of drink, you can't run out of anything, it's embarrassing. Anyway, Mary said, you need to do something about it. Now Jesus said, look, my time has not yet come. It's not the right time for me to be doing anything. I have to wait a bit. And Mary gave him one of those looks. You know the kind of look that your mum might give to you to say, just get on with it. Stop telling me no. Just, just get on with it. So, Mary said to one of the servants that was waiting on at the tables at the wedding, uh, do whatever Jesus tells you to do. Jesus said to the servant, right, what I want you to do is fill up those six stone water jars over there in the corner. They were huge. They were massive. They were they were huge, huge stone water jars. And they were used for washing hands. They weren't really for drinking water at all. The servant thought that was very odd. But nevertheless, he filled up all the stones right up to the brim with the water. Then Jesus said to them, have you done it? Yeah, 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 I've done that. Take a ladle and take a cup of the water out, put it in a cup and give it to the host, the person in charge. Okay, said the servant. So he went off, took a ladle full of the water out of the jar, he filled up a cup and then he gave the cup to the host and the host looked at the cup tasted it and said this is amazing it's wine amazing wine most people serve the best wine at the beginning but you've saved, saved the best till last it's fantastic. <clears throat> now, Jesus 
had saved the day. And I just wonder whether Jesus' mother, Mary, must have been kind of smiling a bit to herself. Yes, Jesus has done his first miracle. Mary must have been waiting for it. Now, everybody at the wedding couldn't believe how fantastic the wine was. And in a way, it kind of points to the fact that Jesus, they've been waiting and waiting and now Jesus has arrived and Jesus is going to be even better than they can possibly imagine. Now this isn't much of a magic trick, is it? You've guessed, I've used a red cup. <clears throat> Look, I'm not the same as Jesus. I can't turn water into wine. But Jesus can change all sorts of things. And what he can do is he can make them really, really amazing. Right, well, I'm going to sing a song now. So I'll go and get my guitar and then I'll... I'll sing a song and then I'll... What happened there then? Right, I'll sing a song. Here we go. I'll sing a song that we all know. Uh, <clears throat> he's got the whole world in his hand. And I thought that'd be good because, well, Jesus does amazing things all the time. So, um... And he could do that because he's got everything in his hand. So God's got the whole world in his hand. But uh, God the Son, Jesus, also has the whole world in his hand. And he has you and me. And he keeps us all safe. So let's, uh, let's sing this together. So He's got the whole world in his hand. together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Now maybe you've got a prayer to share. Maybe you've got a prayer that you'd really like to say on your own right now. Maybe you're at home or maybe uh, you're at school 
and you'd just like to have a quiet moment to say that prayer. So I'm just going to give you 10 seconds and we're going to think, what would God like us to change around us at the moment? Amen. And uh, I want to pray that God would bless you today and that God would bless all those around us, that God would help us uh, as we uh, go through this uh, uh, pandemic, uh, God would be with our teachers and that Jesus would bring great change to our lives in every way that we get the most out of every day in our learning and in our friendships. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, better blow the candle out. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, I'll bring it round. Here we go. So we're going to blow the candle out. Um, now you might, if you're at home, you're allowed to blow uh, with your breath. If you're at school, you've got to wave your hands very, very fast and try and put it out. So three, two, one, go! No, no, not that wasn't, no, it wasn't enough. What happened? Try again. Right, three, two, one, go! You did it! Fantastic. Have a great day. <laughs>